In a world saturated by messages of sex, Inside Edition's Megan Alexander has become a voice for abstinence. She says saving herself didn't just benefit her marriage, it also gave her the confidence to focus on building a career until she finally found the man she had been waiting for. Well, you work in an industry where um, the norm actually is to have sex before you get married. You know, people live together, you know, sex is seen as something casual, but yet you've written an article where you talk about you and your husband waited. Yes. Why did you wait? Yeah. Well, I was raised in a Christian home, so faith is a big part of it for me. I believe it's God's best design for us. Um, but it's also a self-esteem thing for me. You know, I, I had a father and a mother that told me I was worth it. And to wait for the right guy and to value my body and to value myself. I was raised in a Christian home, uh, attended church and Christian schools my whole life. And I made that decision early. I think in about junior high, I really said, I'm going to wait until I'm married, and I'm going to find the right guy that respects me and believes the same thing. And I just held fast to that. And uh, I tell people, you know, people ask me, how did you stay out of trouble with boys? I say, I was too busy chasing my career in my teens and 20s to get in trouble with guys. I, I had a lot of goals, and I just focused on them. That's good. Now, you dated your husband for about five years. I know Five years. You knew each other as kids, but you dated for five years. Now, yes. how did you abstain yeah. dating five years? What are the, some of the things you did? Sure. Mm -hmm. Well, I do remember us having the conversation once we started dating, okay, what are our boundaries? And that's a very real conversation um, that you need to have. Okay, we're human. You know, we're human. We're attracted to each other. Let's set those boundaries now. And that was a huge and important part of our uh, relationship. And through those five years, you got to hold fast to those. Uh, friends, support, being in a Bible study, having people we can call and talk through these issues with was very important. It's not easy, but it is doable. And in those five years, he was right there with me, and he never pushed me to do something I didn't want to do. Both people have to want it. Now, I know some people may be thinking, I don't want to wait because... What if I get married and something's wrong? Or I've heard people say, what if it's not good? So what would you say to people like that? Sure. You know, marriage is supposed to be a journey together. Uh, I really believe that sex is God's gift to us. The beautiful thing about saving it for marriage is it's something private that you just enjoy with your spouse. I think society looks at it as just a physical act. You know, it's so much more, it's emotional, it's spiritual, it's psychological. So I think really changing our mindset about what being with your spouse is physically is a huge part of it. And when you look at it that way, I don't think you're, you're uh, interested in, in judging the other person of if it was good or if it wasn't because you love that person for so many more reasons than just sex. That was really important for me uh, to realize that you know, when the going gets tough, you want someone that'll grab your hand and kneel down next to the bed and pray with you. When you're having a really hard time in life, I I'm not sure you're too concerned about the bedroom at that moment. Uh, and those are all things to just talk through, but I really think society focuses on that physical act way too much. Mm. Now for you, do you feel that it laid a good foundation for your marriage? Absolutely. And how so? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we were very good friends first. I uh, knew a lot about each other. Brian knew my dreams and goals. He knew I had ambitions to pursue my career, to pursue television, and all that I wanted to do. Uh, and that's a huge part of it. He's my biggest cheerleader. He's my biggest teammate, and I am the same for him. He's also got a career as an event planner, and I know that, you know, that's important to him. So that laid the foundation, you know, for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years into our marriage. What are our goals? What do we want to do? And in my industry, I really need I, I really need and I really cherish the fact that Brian knew me way before any of this TV stuff. He knows me as just Meg, you know, the girl that likes to eat chocolate and watch movies and goof around, you know. So that foundation of just friendship and really knowing each other uh, on a very real level yeah. is, is so important. I, I really value that, that he's my dear, dear friend at the end of the day. Mm. Now, working in the entertainment industry where this is not popular, yeah. how have you found, you know, sharing your story, you were a virgin when you got married, how has your story impacted other people? Sure, that's definitely an icebreaker. When we will find that out, you know, it's, uh, it's very uncommon uh, in society today. I never thought that I would be so open with my personal life, um, but I really feel that this is the journey that God wants my husband and I to take, and this is the message that he wants us to share. Part of it is that society, I think there's so much pressure on young people to just get involved sexually. I found myself going 
no, there's another way. Yeah. I did this and it's okay, you know? I found myself feeling like, gosh, if, if, if I don't speak out, who's going to? I, I don't hear any other voices right now, not many anyways, um, saying that abstinence is another choice. So we really felt, we, my husband and I talked and, and decided that, hey, if, this is, if we're supposed to speak out and encourages one person, then it's worth it. Now for some people who maybe they didn't wait, um, but they want to, Sure. and they want to do things God, God's way, yeah. what would you encourage them about? Sure. That's my husband's story. He was not a believer, um, did not wait, came to the faith later in life, and um, recommitted his life to the Lord and, and chose to seek what we call a second virginity with me. And hey, anybody out there that, that didn't wait or maybe didn't even know that they could, I think that's a lot of the conversation today is that a lot of the teens and young people, they don't even know that it's an option. So hey, you know what? Knowing that uh, each day is new and there's always a chance to start again. I think that's really important. God can work in any situation. And for me, I hope that I can encourage people that you never know who God's going to choose as your mate. I didn't know that it would be someone that um, had not waited, but wow, my husband is the perfect mate for me. That's our story and how God wanted it to be. So especially in today's day and age, I want people to be encouraged that there's always a chance for a fresh start.